Hi there, this is James from Tesseract and this is my hit the floor first. That's a tough one. I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty old. So <laughs> I'm having to go back a good, a good 30 years in life probably. Um, I probably won marbles at school in the playground on a drain, you know, flicking around balls, you know, doing what children do. That's really boring, sorry. Ah, well, I was quite clever with that one because uh, I basically, I, I, think, I think I figured it out reasonably young, because, well, at school everyone tells you, like, you're, you know, you're six years old and people are like, yeah, there's no Santa, and you're like, oh, yeah, there's no Santa, and, you know, you all play along. But um, I, I think I, I failed to tell my parents that I figured this out for probably another three or four years in fear that I'd probably lose out on presents. So I reckon I was probably about six, but, I, oh, yeah, about six, but I reckon my parents think I was about 11. I remember it well. I was 15 years old. I was uh, at a party, you know, turn up with loads of beers as you do. Um, and I, I, you know, I guess I was maybe slightly socially awkward, so I needed to get some Dutch courage. So I basically started drinking beers, like drinking wine, drinking spirits. And I think by about nine o'clock in the evening, I, was, I found myself vomiting over the balcony of this flat. And the flat was actually on like the 20th floor and I pretty much decimated a windscreen of a car, but I, I wasn't broken, but it was not a pretty sight. And, uh, and I think I was quite rock and roll with it because I sorted myself out and carried on drinking from about 10 p.m. onwards. Yeah. Um, I haven't had that feeling yet, I'm afraid. <laughs> I guess the first time I noticed we had some recognition was probably when, um, I guess we played a gig. I remember actually, we did a, a very small run of gigs, a small tour. Uh, we played like some pub in Leeds, some pub in Woking or something, some really random places. And at least five to ten people turned up to all the shows. And to have people actually turn up in the middle of nowhere to watch you was like, wow, people actually care about this band. May only be five people a show, but yeah, that was the first time it felt like something was happening. I was probably about eight and I had a big argument with a kid at school in the playground. I punched him, he punched me back and he knocked me to the floor. And I was, yeah, I felt very sorry for myself. From that point onwards, I've learned to not hit people because virtually everybody else is harder than me. I think the first time I became aware actually was when um, I think I was, in, I was in the changing room at school for swimming and I turned around and I saw a friend of mine who had definitely gone through puberty and I was horrified at the size of his big hairy penis. It was horrendous. And then, um, and I don't think I've quite hit that point yet, but literally like a week later, I sort of noticed changes and I was like, oh, it's happening. And, and oddly at that age, you're really embarrassed. You don't want people to notice. You wish you had like a tiny little, like, you know, prawn sized penis because you fit, fit in better at school. Yeah, so I, rem I remember it well. It was kind of, it was an unnerving, uncomfortable time, but uh, yeah. Tesseract are touring this autumn with um, an amazing band called Animals as Leaders. Uh, we're playing all over the UK and all over Europe, if there are any European people watching. Uh, check out our dates on Facebook, which is Tesseract Band, and come and see us play.